Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Jasmine Esteen. I know y'all can hear me, but I also know it's loud as hell. But chill. Uh, it's your girl Jasmine Destine. If you're new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up? What's good? What's goody? Now we can get into it. So I'm literally headed to my wax appointment. We're doing a little bit of maintenance. This week's gonna be really fun. I'm going to Arizona. I'm literally going to Arizona tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing some maintenance stuff today, between today and tomorrow, in preparation for my little three day, three day trip that I'm going on. First things first, we're getting a wax because it's literally gonna be like 117 degrees out there. And I know we're gonna end up by the pool. Like Thank you. I know we're gonna end up by the pool. Yo, it's so funny because niggas know with this hat, this is a Young Thug like merch. Honestly, free Young Thug. No, let me, let me stop. Okay, so I just left my wax appointment. Um, this girl got me all the way together. Honestly, my hairs be so thin and so sparse. Like that was a five, I, the last time I got waxed was five weeks ago and I barely had any hair. Like I really should have started waxing way, way, way sooner because now this is like my this was my fourth time getting a brazilian and i swear to you like my hair i i'm so like splotchy when it grows in like it, it grows in in patches and it grows in so thin and slow like even my wax specialist she was like she was like how long have you been getting waxes i was like the first time i came was february of this year she was like what she's like i've literally been waxing for four years and my hairs aren't even this thin and this like um short and like patchy she was like they your hair's growing so slow she's like i think we're gonna have to push to you coming in every six weeks because five was not enough time and i was just like wow like i was looking at it this morning after i got out the shower and i was like i feel like she gonna be she gonna have a little a little issue trying to get all the little hairs she ended up having to pull a tweezer out I'm like telling you guys all my business, but honestly, it's because I couldn't vlog in there because like mentally, like I'm not there yet. Like I feel like me and her have a good rapport. We be chatting. She just put me onto a new nail salon. But like I feel like if I pull my camera out to vlog while she's waxing me, it's just going to make things awkward because then our conversations are obviously going to be recorded and I don't want to do that because we be talking, me and her. And it also helps the time go by way quicker. So I like that. So yeah, I can't vlog yet. But I will say, I'm a happy customer. Now that coochie can get scratched and stretched and everything else that Sexy Red said, she said, I'm trying to get my coochie stretched, yeah. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched, yeah. You know how to do the rest, oh yeah. I like a nigga with a check, yeah. All my niggas give me neck, yeah. You know how sexy you know how best, yeah. I'm not your love bitch out there, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where I'm walking now. I think I want a coffee from Duncan, so I'm gonna go get me coffee. You guys, so update. I tried to get my nails done um, at this place that I used to go to in downtown, and I had an appointment, but I ended up getting there and I couldn't find parking, and it was like this whole thing, so. I basically missed my appointment but now i'm at this new place and it's in k-town i've never been here before but someone suggested it to me so we're gonna see if it's giving what it needs to give i'm only getting a pedicure and i'm not even gonna get french i'm just gonna get white on my toes i'm gonna tell them real square because that's how i like them and hopefully they come out good but yeah i'm gonna do that and then I don't know I think I'm gonna go home and wax actually and I need to I'm deep conditioning right now so I put in a deep conditioner last night um, I washed my hair and then I like braided my hair up and I just had it clipped with my bonnet on slept on it 
I'm about to take out the braid when I get home and wash it out because I can feel like all the product in my hair but I also think that that's good because my hair is like super dry like when I tell you my hair is so dry so I really need to do like a deep conditioning mask like it was very much necessary so yeah gonna wash my hair and probably do like my wash and go so that my hair looks good tomorrow because i honestly hate the way my hair looks on the first day of my wash and go it just does not give like it's so flat i feel like i have to tease it so much to get volume and then it just looks frizzy and i don't want frizz like i want definition but i want my hair to be big you know fingers crossed everything goes the way it's supposed to but yeah i'm about to head into this nail salon actually worked out perfectly because I only had to pay the meter until 4 and it was 3.58. in on what happened yesterday literally five seconds not even two minutes after we got off our little chat yesterday when i was leaving the nail salon in k-town someone hit my car literally like as i was pulling out of my spot it was on a very busy active street and this lady basically sideswiped me so it just put a whole damper on the rest of my day i didn't do the things that i was supposed to do i was really annoyed now I gotta get my car fixed. Still going to Arizona, but it was just like really annoying. I'm in a Wusa. I just left that in Tuesday. Now it is Wednesday. It is a new day. I want better today, better vibes, better energy. <coughs> I just want today to be a good day because I'm just chalking up yesterday is yesterday was a bad day. So it is what it is. No one got hurt, thankfully. Um, and the damages are like my car got messed up more messed up than the, the other lady's car like literally her car just had a scratch on it like along her the side of her car my bumper got messed up and my wheel alignment got knocked off so my car is just like really not drivable right now but we have a little bit more maintenance to do before i leave china literally just texted she landed she flew in from new york because she's coming to arizona what i have to do right now happy wednesday I need to wash my hair, wash this deep conditioner, I'll do my wash go. I need to wax my underarms and I need to wax my mustache because they're out of hand. Oh, and I need to shave my legs in the shower. So we're doing all of that right now. And I'm feeling, filming a Instagram reel. I already like picked out all my outfits, so I just need to like throw them in my suitcase, pack my skincare. I don't even think I'm packing makeup. It says the weather is going to be 115 degrees there, literally all three days that we're there, like all week. 115, bitch. I'm not wearing no fucking makeup. Like, y'all, you're like, it's gonna be skincare, moisturizer, and sunscreen. That's it. Like, 115 is crazy. It's absurd. It's honestly ridiculous. Like, I already got my wax warmer plugged in. Yep. You know, she's already doing what she needs to do. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, literally. Uh, washed hair. Um, I shaved my legs. And now we're about to get into this wash and go. Let me dry off lotion in two seconds, yeah. Okay, so the two products I've really been using for my wash and goes are <laughs> these two from Pattern Beauty, the leave-in conditioner and the curl gel, but I just ran out of the leave-in conditioner and i wanted to try something else so i picked up this curl defining gel from gold series i've tried their leave-ins and their conditioners and i really really like it so i figured i would try i don't know i want to try something else and it smells so freaking bomb like it smells so good so i'm about to do these two the curl gel from pattern and the curl pudding from Build series. I'm gonna do this first, the leave-in, not the leave-in, the curl gel. And I normally do this in sections, but I'm kind of 
running late, so I'm just gonna really saturate my hair like this. Like, I don't really have time to be doing section by section right now. Like so. Oh, grrr. I'm gonna go with the pudding jelly. I really like it. And it just smells so bomb. I just finger the tangle this, finger comb it through. And I make sure to really focus on saturating my ends as well. Like, my, the ends of my hair be so dry. And then I do a little scrunch, but not too much. My hair doesn't stay wet for long. Like, literally, when I was editing the Bali vlog, there was this part, and I, think, I don't think I kept it. <laughs> but there was this part where I jumped in the pool, and I came out, and it was like, I was fully submerged in the water in the pool, but my hair was dry. Like, it didn't look like it was wet. And I know y'all gonna give me suggestions in the comments, so let me know what you think I should do about my hair. Like, I feel like the products I'm using now are definitely better than, you know, what I was doing before. I really wasn't doing much before, but I am still learning my hair. Like, I started wearing my natural hair this year. Like, I made a vow to myself at the start of the year. I was like, I'm not wearing no more wigs. I'm gonna learn how to work with my natural hair, what works best for it, wear it, you know, be confident in it, all of that stuff. And I really have stuck to that. Like I literally have not worn wigs since last year, but, and I've also developed my own routine and it works for me, but I feel like it's not the best, like the absolute best, you know? Like I feel like there are still things that I could tweak. I'm still learning. That's why I'm still trying new products and things like that. So if you feel like your hair is similar and there's a product that you really, really love and you feel like it works wonders on your hair, then please let me know. Cause I will definitely try it out. Like I always use my products until they're done though. Like I'm not, curly products are way too expensive to just be buying stuff left and right. Hello? Yes? Yes? Yes, you can send her up. Okay, so. I got my new blow dryer. This is from Lifen, Lifen. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but isn't it so cute? It's purple. It's literally like my favorite color. This is a dupe for the Shark blow dryer. If you guys know, you know. I actually got the chance to use one when I was in New York. My stepmom has a Shark blow dryer. So I'm interested to see if this is gonna be the same better it has the same buttons on it as well um so you have two settings that sounds very high tech very cute um and then there's a cool button as well so you can do a cool blast while you're blow drying it lights up here So my typical blow dryer that I use, my diffuser attachment that I had for a while now, it takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to diffuse my entire head. So we're going to see how long this takes. I'm literally going to set a timer. Started it. And we finna see. Okay, you guys, so I just finished diffusing my hair. 
it's a little over 15 minutes it's really under 15 minutes because i was just talking but it took me about 15 minutes to blow dry my entire head and i feel like that's really good because i told you it takes me around 25 to 30 minutes normally with my other old regular dryer blow dryer this one did it in 15 minutes like my hair is dry like my hair is actually dry i actually really like that don't mind the mess in the back yeah i really love this blow dryer i feel like it's very efficient you can tell that so it sucks the air up through here and then it's like obviously pushing it out through here yeah it's super efficient i really love the way that it feels in my hand it's very lightweight it's not a heavy blow dryer and i like i don't know i like the magnetic situation with this so this is the diffuser attachment this was the other attachment that i was talking about where you can use it if you wanted to like blow your hair out with a brush love this shout out to life fan for sponsoring this portion of the weekly vlog yeah so i'm gonna finish packing i literally have all of my clothes on my bed here i'm about to throw them in my suitcase i packed my makeup it's in my makeup bag that i got from amazon um i have my skincare and body care and everything toothbrush all of that stuff i literally just have to put it in my suitcase so i'm about to do that right now you guys i'm all packed i'm literally all packed and look who's here it's charlie hello <laughs> charlie's back i'm back so yeah me Chiny, and mona are headed to arizona I said me, Chiny, and Mona are, are headed to Arizona. Y'all like my hat? I need to like fix it. It's like not bending the right way, but. Okay, Jackson, match. Match. Um, I just have one of the Pink top. Benson. And it's Harjay. Shorts are Zara. Hi, is she in? Stop. And I'm gonna wear my Crocs. Go drink some water. Benson, you missed your auntie? I didn't do it. I've been here for like an hour now. You miss your auntie. Okay. You miss your auntie. Go say bye to your mom. Go say bye to your mom. Papa, come here. Come here, Papa. Come here. Oh, you give mommy a hug. You gonna miss mommy. Come here. We're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. To Arizona, hey. Uh, 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 road trip! Road trip! Uh, <laughs> okay, so we've connected to the system. Mona's driving first leg. Um, we gotta figure out what we're gonna play. Because it's what very crucial. I feel like it needs to be giving girl vibes. Girl, I got girls. For the girls. Period. Period! Like, why is it not playing? You guys, we're on the way. Literally just stopped for a Dunkin'. You guys know I'm literally obsessed yeah. with this new cold brew. It's not even new. I'm screaming. But I'm obsessed with this coffee. My order is a medium um, cold brew, iced cold brew, light ice, oat milk with cold foam and three pumps of butter pecan syrup. It's the fruits. Okay. And I got a breakfast sandwich and I got three jelly munchkins. And three jelly munchkins. <laughs> so yeah. Intrusive thoughts. We've made all of our stops and now we're about to Sorry. We about to head on a road. We just get it together. Mm -hmm. Get it together. I'm about to drink this big ass <laughs> coffee and, and then, then we're gonna have knock to knock out right after. He makes music for the world. Like he literally makes music for the girls. For the, girls. For the bad bitches. For the like bad bitches. <laughs> Mona brought fruit and she bought us little cups. 
yeah. with utensils. Okay. And tahin. Tahin. What did Mango? What did Mango? Oh, the she Mango not there. What did Megan say? Oh. What did she say? Tahin. She said a line about tahin. There's blueberries at tahin. the bottom. No, no, no. Out here is on another level. This hat is actually giving me a little bit of shade on my face, which I like. I have on SPF, so I need to reapply, honestly. So cute. It does. Oh, wait. That's a door. Giving, like, wait, wait. Uh, hold on. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Fruits by Mona. Fruits by Mona. And Chinese nails. Y'all haven't even gotten Chinese nail cam yet. Mm -hmm. We need to get, get into, into these motherfucking nails. Get into it. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Those are so... Shout Period. out your nail tag. Who Period. your nail tag? Nail by G. Per. Per. In Long Island, right? She's in Long Island. Yeah, she's based in Long Island. She in New York for, my, for the New York for the world. New York. Period. A per. Fuck it up. On stage rocking out stir crazy. Coco for the 1980s. Just a lounge. It's a, I mean, a lock. It's a lock area. Oh, that's so Ooh, cute. Island. Mona, you picked this out, right? This island. Mona ate down. Oh my god, I'm a breakfast ball. No, I love this little nook. <laughs> it's so this cute so in cute. here. Look how pretty the backyard is. Oh guys, this is gorgeous. Looks like there's a bathroom right here. It's so cute. Look at it. The doors. I love. I love. Ooh. And then there's a bedroom. There's three bedrooms. The room. This is one of the bedrooms. Oh, I like this room. This is another bedroom. So cute. There's a closet. They ate down with this bathroom. Ooh. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. This has to be the yeah. main this one. The, yeah. yeah. This is the nice. Pretty. Oh, this is the one that has the balcony entrance, basically. Gorge and a nice walk-in closet. So pretty. Bathroom. Sorry. Did I miss your video? It's okay. I like this bathroom because of how dark it is. Look at the standing shower. So pretty. OMG, love. I love, I love, I love. We're about to pick a number out of a hat. My hat. Um, I was going to do it out of my hat. <laughs> We're going to pick a number out of my hat. And whoever gets one gets the master yeah, bedroom. You can't see what's written on the thing through the holes, can you? No, but it's gonna fall out. Nah, it won't fall out. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Did you close the door all the way, Chani? That is gonna scare me. And that's my dad. We're not even gonna go in our beds right now. Oh my god. Okay, Chani. <laughs> no, put it back in and you have to do that when she comes back. 
<laughs> China! <laughs> Come! The anticipation! Pick a, pick a thing, anything. Alright, oh wait, 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 let me explain. The first room is this one, yeah. the second one, yeah. and then the third one. Yeah. <laughs> she got one. <laughs> she got one. Yeah, I can come sleep you got with three, me. and I got two. <laughs> that was the room I wanted. We should all sleep in the same room, though. <laughs> <laughs> in this California oh. kingdom, it's, it's, where it's. I was getting it. Oh, yeah, you can go to the side. Nah, I think I'm gonna sleep like a starfish in my bed. I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, come, I'm come hang out with y'all for two, like for like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go back to my bed. It's because okay. I sleep with three billion people in, in, her, in my bed currently. Benson, and they all sleep like that. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mama got her own room now. We should put all of us together and give it to Jazz. They're gonna come in my room, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try and want peace and quiet and alone time. And they're gonna come in my. <laughs> they finna come. <laughs> okay, so we just got back from Trader Joe's movies. We literally got groceries. Like we are mad hungry. We were in there just picking up anything. So we're about to put it away. We're gonna make dinner. And it was like this new place I've ever tried. And the next day, Mona was like, Where did you get that Indian food from? I was like, It was something on Uber Eats. She was like, That was not good. It's like, Okay. I heard you. Mm -hmm. It was mad sugary. I was like, Then the garlic knot was mad burnt and trash. Yeah, it was over overcooked for sure. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Mona. They have so much. Hey, yeah. They have so much stories. She's standing up on the people furniture them. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's what I'm saying. They make these the bench. Yeah. The bench is storage. Okay, yeah, we're just admiring the home, but good morning. He's so pretty in here. It's literally like 7.30 in the morning. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday. Today's the day of the Don Tolliver concert. We're so excited. We were literally just talking about it. Um, that's going to be later at like 8 p.m. So we have the whole day. At 7.40 in the morning, it is 96 degrees outside. I don't know how y'all do it. Like, I really love summer and I love warm weather, hot weather. But to wake up to 100 degrees, I'm a little stuffy, sorry. It's crazy. Crazy. This is about to be Shanice's reality channel. That girl gonna be. She, I don't even know how she's gonna do it. I honestly don't. 
But anyway, I'm so excited for the concert later. I have my outfit picked out, obviously. Can't wait to take outfit photos. We're gonna go, I think we're gonna walk this morning to a coffee shop that's literally like a cafe that's literally like three minutes away. Um, get a little sweat in. I wanna kinda work, I wanna do a workout today. Like, even if it's just like a full body, like no weight workout. I feel like I kinda ate a little junky yesterday. And whenever I eat chunky, I just want to like work out so I can burn those calories off as soon as possible. Like, that's literally how my mind is wired now. So, I don't know. We had plans of going to maybe a spa today, also at like a hotel because you can get like day passes. I don't know if we're still gonna do that, but um, because I also kind of would just, I wouldn't mind just like laying out and tanning and kind of relaxing. Yeah, good morning, Arizona. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm all dressed. Shorts that I thrifted and distressed. Um, I have on this top from this girl's brand. It says, God made an angel, I think. I don't remember the name of the brand, though. My boyfriend got it for me, so I'll link it down below. And then I have this cute little flowy top. From Shein, I feel like a pirate. <laughs> and then I'm gonna wear my Crocs and my Celine shades on. Curly hair is curling. Yeah, and I'm gonna wear my pink toe feet. Good morning. My coochie pink, my booty hole. Brown. Where the niggas? I'm looking for the hoes. Quit playing, nigga. Cause I got bitch. to try this i got a matcha latte with it had raspberry something and rosemary, rosemary raspberry. something condensed milk it's like that's what this is it's like the syrup on the bottom it's called the year next yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's good that's really good. And I got a hazelnut scone. I'm gonna try this. Ooh. Mm hmm. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's a good food. Oh, 
She gave us a little tahini win. You guys, it's so freaking hot outside. It literally feels like you're in a sauna, like outside. Me and Chinese were laying out there. Yeah. Literally melting. It's, like like it's 110. No, I think it is, because the last time I checked it was 109. Yeah. It has to be 110 degrees. It's so hot. We have to stay hydrated. It's 111. It's 111. I'm mad I brought these underwear bottom, these bikini bottoms because I want the skimpiest little tear mine. I don't want these thick. I got some pots in my bag. Do I look tan? Mm -hmm. I do. I always get this like this. I need some bathing. We lay now. She literally just sprayed me with the hose because it was so hot out here. It felt so good. <laughs> it felt so good. That's no cap, baby. That's just facts. people in the world like the funniest fucking people in the world fair jokes fair jokes we all we do is chat My lips are like a little purple because of the wine, the red wine, but we're about to start getting ready for the Donnie T concert. Her, 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 her. It's an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. It's about to go. It's yeah. about to go. It's down. So please, on that note, DJ, take us out. Use, yeah, use the stuff. Oh, okay. Love sick deluxe me. Oh. Oh. Please oh. don't think. I'm getting it. Think. Okay. <laughs> We're about to see Daddy T. <laughs> Get it ready for the concert. It's about to go. <laughs> Damn. And on that note.
are H&M and my glasses are Lorve 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 mama the aesthetic she, it's so she can switch it up her it's giving very much Vortex Vortex <laughs> okay yeah everything Amazon period <laughs> Very, very, Valencia. very bag. Very cute. Even though you're not jacket. Come on, oh, y'all look cute in here. Wait, hold on. It's the lashes for me, but. Did you squeeze them together yet? Or no? no. I kind of sort of. But these suit is from Zara. Shorts are from Forever. Sneakers are Nike. Period. 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 And shades are either Lorve or Prada. On your right wrist, please. There you Thank go. you. Wristbands. We're in the pit. <laughs> Cheers. That was a. Uh...
You guys, good morning. Happy Friday. We're literally about to check our app. We're about to check out of our Airbnb. <sighs> I'm going to miss this one. Aww. This was a good one. It was. This was a really, really good this one. Home. Beautiful home, beautiful space. This is a great little three day trip. to load this in load on our luggage i really love this car though like i'm not even gonna cap this car is really nice like this is their new luxury sport line it goes super fast it's so comfy on the inside it's very spacious and it gets great gas mileage you guys like literally i i was like we we got it on a full tank obviously and when it was time to fill up, we were like near E. I was like, okay, I'm gonna just put like $25 in it because we're only an hour away. That was literally a full tank. My car, my Mercedes, literally is like almost $100 for it to be a full tank. It's like $98. This was $25 and it was damn near full. Like, I think $30 would have been a full tank. And it got us here. Like, a full tank got us four and a half hours. So good. She just gave it to him. It's like 100 and, it's 108 degrees, the high is 113. I just ordered a pitcher of Rosé, the girls don't know. They went to the car to get some stuff that they forgot in there. But I ordered us a pitcher of Rosé. So we're going to drink that. I'm literally going to get in the pool. It's so hot. I'm sweating my skincare off already. I like that the pool towels are yellow. Saturday, your girl's back in LA. I'm back home. I literally have um, Amazon packages to open, and I got some PR too. So we're gonna just open them together. But yeah, the last time you guys saw me, I was in Arizona by the pool. The drive back was around six hours. Yeah, and it was pretty smooth sailing. We had to stop a couple times. Well, we stopped like three times to get gas but other than that it was pretty smooth got home kind of late um and now i'm back home so the first thing i got i always get my protein off of amazon i just feel like it's always the best deal because they sell this in target but it's usually like a couple of dollars more um and then if i get it at like ralph's or something it's like way too expensive but i get my protein powder i like this muscle milk pro series um, because two scoops, which is a serving size, two serving size scoops of this is 50 grams of protein. Like, that's literally so good. I feel like if I get one of these in, like, on my days where I'm going to the gym, then it kind of just already starts me off with, like, a good amount of protein. And then I just kind of get have to get the rest in with all of my meals. So, yeah, this is the protein that I like and i always get vanilla because i feel like it just blends better in smoothies and stuff but the chocolate does taste good too 
next I got some new house slippers I literally like my house slippers that I have um my previous ones are just so like you know when they're not fluffy anymore like they're literally just flat oh my gosh these look so cute oh that's so cute they actually look like the photo too I'm so shocked they're kind of hard these are adorbs for the house oh my gosh these are so cute let me try them on He's gotten into this habit where he likes chewing up slippers now. Like, I don't know what's gotten into him. These are so stinking cute. Wait, I have to show you. Literally, look at how cute these are. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I'm obsessed. And they're really soft. These are so cute. Look at him waiting. He's plotting on these. Amazon really be having everything you need and more. I got some gym items. So your girly likes to do a hip thrust. And you know if you do hip thrust with the barbell, um, if you're like a weightlifting girly, then you know the, the bar will dig into your hips and it can bruise. And I'll literally like go hard in the gym, lifting like, I usually do two plates on each side. So that's 180 pounds, and then sometimes I'll add a 25 on top of that to both sides. So what's that? 230, right? 235. And to do 235 pounds on your hip bones, it's not a good feeling. Like your glutes feel crazy good, but like I'd be bruised for like days after. So I got one of these for when I do hip thrusts. And you can also use it, obviously, if you're doing squats on the squat rack and you want to create a little bit more of like a cushion back here so you would have it here or I'm going to have it here and I'm going to do my, do my hip thrust so I can get my glutes even bigger because the heavier the better, duh. And then another item that I got. I really need these two so I have gloves already that I use in the gym but these are wrist wraps that you basically wear when you're doing deadlifts they're specifically for girls because it says big girl and they're pink but yeah you basically like when you do RDLs whether you're doing them with dumbbells or you're doing it with a barbell you basically have these on your wrist and then you'd use the velcro and have it velcroed onto the weight it doesn't allow you it doesn't help you lift the weight like if it's a weight that you can't already lift on your own but it just adds more support so that you know you you know when you do really heavy weight and it starts to slip this is basically to help so that it doesn't slip out of your hands i've got a new phone case I like to get a new phone case like once a month or once every two months basically. I always get them off of Amazon. So this one, this last one I had is from Amazon, but it's starting to peel. Like if you look in the on the side and stuff. I'm pretty rough with my phone. But this one came with a little screen protector and it's like the glass one. So if I were to crack my phone, it would crack on there first and then my phone, I guess, underneath. But look at how cool. It's a little 3D. I've really been feeling like the 3D phone cases recently. I feel like it's just fun and funkier. So I'm going to take this one off. This one gave me like Bottega vibes, right? And then this one, I don't know. It just gives me like metallic is very much in right now, you know? Look at how cool. I love it. My new phone case. Yeah. And I think this was literally like $10 or something like that. So it's something from youth to the people. I want to see what they sent. I recently started using their cleanser. And I really like it. The spinach like green tea cleanser. It's bomb. The bomb.com. Okay. So it looks like they've come out with a new moisturizer. 
Plumping hydration, light as air. Six times more hydrating, stronger barrier function in one hour, instant, plus 48 hours of weightless hydration. Great for acne prone, dry and sensitive skin types. Fast absorption leads skin feeling cool, comfy, and refreshed. Ooh. <laughs> this one I'm really excited about, you guys. Like, literally, I'm... I want to scream. One of my favorite black-owned, women-owned brands sent me some PR. I'm so excited. <sighs> We're just going to get right into it. I feel like you guys are going to be able to tell. What do you think it is? Comment down below before I open it. What do you think it is, Jeff? Up one side. I know that is right. Look at her. When I tell you the budget for the PR packages, it's there for me, honey. Oh, girl. I was actually kind of bummed because their last collection, they were going to send it to me. They did send it to me, but there was a clerical error with my address in their system, and I think they ended up sending it to the wrong address so i didn't even like i was supposed to get the whole valentine's day collection and i didn't get it so i'm so happy that they reached out and wanted to send me the summer collection look at how beautiful this is so you guys there's a case that comes with each pair we gotta open these up we gotta see what it's giving we gotta see what it's giving i want to start with the pink ones first but y'all know i love pink Let's see, what is it giving? What is it giving? The box looks like, open it up. <laughs> There's a little dust cleaner for the glasses and then you get it in a little bag. These are so cute. Okay, this style is called, and I love how she be putting the names on the inside of the glasses. This style is called Wavy. These are wavy. Eight, eight down, eight down. These are so, these are too good. And I love that the shade, the tint of the shade is dark so they can't see your eyes. I love shades when you wear them and it's like people can't see your eyes because one thing about me, I'm going to wear some shades at night. I'm going to wear some shades <laughs> anywhere. In the function, at the club, at the bar. I'll wear them at dinner, honestly. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into the green ones. Look at how cute. I'm sorry my nose is a little stiff, snuffly. Stiffly? Snuffly? Oh, goodness. These are so cute, too. Eight down. These are the style vacay. Cute! I love the pops of color. Like, I feel like this is a really cute color. It's slightly translucent, like it's not fully solid. It's like a nice neon green. Look at how freaking bomb. Hold on. Look at how bomb these are. I love. I don't know, like, I just feel like it's giving, like, I honestly feel like it's giving, yeah, like, I think Diera has done it once again, shout out to her, shout out to Lorve, I love you guys, down, thank you for sending this to me, like, I literally feel so lucky, like, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world, I love Lorve, I feel like, excuse me, I feel like I'm always wearing my Lorve shades because they really just add to the fit. So I'm opening up the orange ones. These are in the style Regal Blaze. So I believe she has another. Ooh, these make everything orange because of the, the shades. These are cute. I feel like. There was something I was just gonna say and I literally started and then I forgot. Oh, I was gonna say, I think she did this shade style for the Valentine's collection, but in a different color, if I'm not mistaken. So these are Regal, but in the blaze color. 
again these are just super freaking cute i like how they're big they look like bug-eyed almost and i think it's just the perfect little pop of color for my neutral fit these are giving me like cat eye vibes more of a classic little shape this style is called a retro cat yeah literally cat eye whoa these are funky these are funky i like them though they're cute i feel like i look like spider-man a little like i look like spider-man like it's not giving like <laughs> it's not giving spider-man it's a necessity when you have sunglasses like everybody needs a black pair of sunglasses but you also need white too i love the detailing on these like look at the gold logo on the side it just looks so sleek and luxe i love it these are cute wait okay these are called shady boots shady boots girl oh you know these these look like my versace shades i'm not even gonna lie i feel like the shape is kind of similar but these are cute oh i like these yeah when i saw these i was like these are the ones like she ate down with the shape i feel like it gives like the other ones they're all cute but this one gives the vibe of like a luxury pair of sunglasses like it has that look like you would be like mm, what are those and you'd be like they're lovey and be like mm, what is that literally what is that they look so good i might have to wear these and i want to wear the pink ones real bad last ones last ones these are the black nice little black case with the lord Vey on the front love the branding these are brand spanking new like you can smell the plastic like that's how new they are these are called classified these literally are giving me prada is that not a prada shade like those are cute it's giving me matrix vibes it's giving me early 2000s but like very sleek very sleek very black jet black you can't see through these so you can't see my eyes <laughs> she ate down definitely like i think my favorites honestly i love all of them but my favorite is the pink the white and these black ones like so good and i really like the green too this green is like a really pretty green because it's semi-translucent like it's not solid i don't know which ones to wear uh, i think i'm gonna wear the white ones and then what shoes am i gonna wear today but yeah i just want to say again shout out to Lord Bay, shout out to dierra y'all really fuck with me and i fuck with y'all i love you guys so much thank you for sending this to me thank you for not forgetting about me like love y'all real 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 bad real bad yeah i just have on this really calm little fit i'm wearing these um cargos that i thrifted this bodysuit is from pume tan is from arizona chill skin that's all my skincare um <laughs> i got my hair in a little braid and i think i'm gonna wear i'm definitely gonna wear like sneakers i don't know which ones either sneakers or maybe i'll wear my crocs that i've been wearing literally all week but yeah i'm about to finish getting dressed and then i'll see you guys at brunch bye you guys i'm at brunch it's me and chinese chinese at the bar ordering right now and i got my son He's just a little happy little boy. These glasses look so bomb on me. Like, please. Please. Those look like they're about to be bitter as hell. He said, yeah, for real. He said that the cayenne is, is mixed in the espresso already. But he said you can't taste it. So, what's the point? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna be 30 in 10 years. Um. Uh, 
this is our Libra queen. Her? It's like you said, say something, and my brain just like... Farted? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My brain did a nice fucking round off into <laughs> into the oblivion. <laughs> like This espresso martini is espressoing. The espresso is espressoing, and the martini is martini-ing. Amen. And... Her. Yeah. I'm trying to save it for my food, but uh, cause she's strong. Don't is on the way. We're at Frank Bar. They updated the menu, you guys, and I'm not even. I'm saying that cause low key, like everybody be here, but like if you don't know about Frank Bar, then what are you doing? Come on, what are you doing? I thought he was bringing our food. You saw how hype I got. I was like, <laughs> my mouth. I was drooling at the at the corner of my mouth. I was like, <laughs> it wasn't even us. But yeah, if you know, now you know. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Nigga. Yeah, literally. So. They've updated the menu, yeah. They've got some new things on there for brunch. I was just, honestly, I was very surprised. They've still got the original things, but they did take off the French toast, which I thought was very interesting. Gosh, this is a chicken burrito, breakfast burrito with chicken, eggs, hash browns, cheese, and a flour tortilla with some salsa, and then a side of potato. He is the way he is, like literally. I'm not drinking anymore. One is good for me. I am zooted and booted. How many? Six. One. I know. This is ready? Huh? It's ready? Ah! Is it? Oh, yeah. It's not your first one either. You have another red ink one. That one. Benson! My dog. It's really new for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah! It's actually very cute. This girl is getting a tattoo. I'll hold him so you can go. Okay, is it good like this? Yeah. Okay, Do you want to go higher? Bad. No, I mean, this is fine. No. I would try to just put it in the center. Up? That's all I would do. Like right at the center, really. That's okay, it. yeah. But it's going to be so quick. Okay. You see it? Do you like it? Do you like the placement? Yeah. Any, like right obje any objections, friends? The girls have convinced me to get a tattoo, you guys. Y'all know I'm very spontaneous with it. I don't feel like I've really ever planned it out. So I'm about to get a tattoo. I got my baby with me. I've literally come here for like three of my tattoos. My Queen of Hearts I did here. My happiness over everything that's above my knee. And my 1997 tattoo on my ankle are all done here. That's what they said? Yes, you are. I have vlogged a couple of my tattoos actually in here. It's okay. I'm getting a tattoo. Look at my baby. Let me see your problem.
So we just got to Pali Wine. Like, 